Hello everyone, welcome to Registech. Myself Karthik Punnuswami. You are at the right place to learn in and out of Java concepts. If you guys are very new to our channel, please consider subscribe to it and don't miss to watch till the end of this video. We are going to learn about what is the difference between list and set in Java. So list and set uh, comes under collection framework in Java, but there could be a question in your Java interview program where they will be asking about when you have to use list, when you have to use set and what is the difference between these two, right? Let's get started. So, list and set both are coming under collection framework, but list can allow duplicates, but in case of set, it won't allow duplicates. So, meaning, in terms of list, if you want to allow duplicates, it is allowed, but in terms of set, it won't allow it. And the list, the insertion order is preserved. The way how you insert the data is preserved in list, but in case of set, the insertion order is not preserved. And you can use list iterator here in terms of like iterate between like forward and backward. So between the elements, if you want to traverse, then you can use list iterator. But in terms of set, you, you don't have list iterator or set iterator. You have a iterator. Basically, you can use it to traverse only forward, but there is no way that you can traverse backward. And the null values, right? So you can insert n number of null values, but in case of set, you can have only one time. So these are the main difference between list and set in Java. And the next thing is like when you have to go for list and when you have to go for set. So basically based on the requirement, however you are getting the requirement from the uh, business, right? Let's say they want to, uh, they don't need to worry about like duplicates, then you have to go for list. And if they say, you know, duplicate should not be there at the same time, insert an order uh, is doesn't matter. Then you can go for set. Right. So based on the requirement, you have to think about it based on the properties of each uh, interfaces and the implemented classes in collection framework. You have to think about logically and in terms of how you can use this implement by uh, correct by implemented classes for the current suitable program. This is the difference between list and set. Hope you guys will understand and you, you guys will be able to answer it if there is a question. I hope you guys have understood the concept very clearly. But still, if you guys have any questions or any clarifications required, Please post your comments in the comment section and I will be more than happy to assist. Keep watching all our videos. There are a lot more videos to come. And if you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next interesting video guys.